now to introduce Jean Riacci, the CEO and Chairman of the Board of FFA Private Bank. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lebanon. I hope you will enjoy your stay. The topic of my small talk is uh, straight is the gate, narrow is the way, Lebanon's road to recovery. This is a verse from Matthew's Gospel. It reflects my belief that there is a path to an economic recovery in Lebanon, which is through the strict implementation of the said uh, plan. Lebanon has four major imbalances, stagflation, debt and deficits, outdated infrastructure, and refugee crisis. The government's answer to these imbalances is said. What is said, it's a conference that took place last year in April 2018, and it has three pillars. Pillar one is a, a huge capital investment plan that will have a lot of uh, economic benefits for the country. Pillar two is fiscal reforms in order to reduce our deficits and thus our debt balancing the budget, reducing the public sector. Pillar three is about structural reforms, many structural reforms, most importantly, uh, the empowerment of regulatory bodies. It's very important because of the political bickering in Lebanon, you need to have a professional independent regulatory bodies, and I want here to congratulate Bank of uh, the Banque du Liban and the CMA because as independent regulators, they have a framework of uh, regulations that, that works perfectly well, and it's a good example for what could happen in the country if we had the right regulatory bodies regulating the electricity sector, the telecom sector, etc. The, uh, the issue we have in Lebanon is that there were, we need to have very unpopular measures, especially uh, regarding Pillar 2, the, the fiscal reforms. In order for us to accept, uh, for the general public to accept unpopular measures, these uh, uh, pain, the suffering, must be shared by the political and economic el elites. And this is something very important. I don't think uh, the, uh, the pain can be shared, can be, uh, uh, bared only by the general public. How the, uh, does uh, the said plan to finance the CIP? First, let's talk about the international support. 37 countries and 14 international organizations, 11 billion in loans and 800 billion in grants. Transport has 20% of the, the share. Water and electricity, 21%. Uh, solid waste 13%, and more than 5 billion of investments are planned to be done through PPP. Talking about PPP, we believe that the government should focus more on two things. First, capital markets. Capital markets improve liquidity, and we know that investment infra uh, infrastructure investment are long-term. Capital markets improve government, uh, uh, PPP and privatization, historically, they trigger capital markets development, and this is something we need in Lebanon. And most importantly, capital markets open equal investment opportunity for all, not for the small groups of privileged people. The second thing the government should focus on, or help, are funds. Funds are professionally managed, they increase investor confidence, and they allow diversification. Our initiative as FFA Private Bank to support the CIP PPP projects is a fund, a mezzanine fund focusing on infrastructure in the MENA and Africa region as well as Lebanon because single country funds are not accepted by investors, but we uh, we plan to have a decent share for the investments in, in, in Lebanon, the investment allocation in Lebanon. We have the support 
of the IFC. In two days, we're going to, we are going to announce uh, uh, an official MOU with them. And uh, uh, one of the big local banks and some of the big local in investors. My conclusion, we are optimistic about the prospects for Lebanon, especially that the government policy statement is focused on reforms and that there is an apparent consensus among political parties for, to implement these reforms uh, to uh, get to another uh, uh, culture, which is the, the pop music culture. It's a steep stairway, but it's a stairway to heaven. There is no highway because you know where the highway leads. Thank you very much.